Yeah, not bad for the first visit. Just as mentioned, guys, we're doing the bounty out here. Got one hanging out right there. A little right there. That's a beast. Oh my gosh. That one's got to be like 14, 15 pounds. You can just tell by the way it walks. Another beauty of this too is, though these are invasive species, none of this protein will be going to waste. This is all fresh iguana meat. And if you guys heard, it's true. Iguanas are actually really good table fare. All depends on how you cook them, but there are a ton of recipes. If you have the expertise and the experience. I mean, shoot, there are fantastic meals that can be created with freshly harvested iguana meat. Just a massive lizard standing his ground right now. These are natural animals. They're non-GMO. They are grass-fed. They're eating plants, vegetables, everything that's in this uh, South Florida ecosystem. The problem is, guys, is they are competing with the native species for territory and food. Uh, this would be a great time to thank the sponsor of the video, FX Air Guns. Uh, we're using the FX Panthera. Welcome back everybody, Guana Man here. Hope everybody's doing great and staying safe and healthy. South Florida is definitely cooling down the last couple of days, fall here. Uh, I was gonna expect to see a lot more different activity as far as the wildlife, you know? Some people think uh, things cool down here in Florida. And although the weather might, we got two we got two phenomenons that happen here in the fall and winter uh one with iguanas and one with fish the breeding and the mating season that happens here in florida with iguanas basically a lot of these big terrestrial lizards that are you know invasive come down from the trees come out of their holes and what do they want to do they want us to try to mate that's what they want to do so you can have one big male and then uh, you can mate with a bunch of females. See, we're at like this roadside ditch right here. And we got some water, some seawater. But then also with the seawater, guys, we have something called the mullet run. And you're probably familiar with that. Uh, massive bait migration from up north of uh, black and striped and silver mullet that will actually come down here and create quite, quite the bounty for food for predatory fish. Snapper, bluefish, ladyfish, tarpon, snook, redfish, sharks. The list goes on and on and on. We're just checking out this ditch right here. Probably come back another time, but we can lay some crab traps. Uh, we can fish out here, and I'm pretty sure we can catch some iguanas lurking in these trees. Speaking of iguanas, I'm gonna see who can spot it here. See him? Do you see him now? All right, now you see him, you see that guy? And that's how good the camouflage is. Blends right in with that branch. And you know, unless you have a trained eye or you see something that doesn't look normal, you will not be able to spot these creatures. Also random ditches like this right here, craters and stuff the breeze can be breeding grounds for invasive iguanas they can go in there and uh, make a nest a customer called me and let me know about a problem going on in a parking lot that they use for a carnival this parking lot's right by the road and they want to redo it but before they can there's a major iguana problem that's going on over there he said there's a lot of them big ones i should bring some traps and i'm allowed to use the air rifle that's where i'm going right now Go check it out and see what's going on. You can see we got some traps in the back and I do got my FX. Subscribers want to come out to the job. Today's your chance. It should be epic. Not quite sure. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. See, we are out here in this roadside parking lot. It is abandoned, but there have been a lot of iguanas plaguing this area. You can see one of them running right there. So we are going to be cruising this area. And we're gonna see if we can take them. Oh, you can, oh my gosh, they're, they're flipping everywhere. 
They're all over there right now. It's the breeding season. So let's go ahead and see if we can take out some of these monsters. He's getting hired to do a lot of iguana removal out here because of the, of the invasive nature of these things. We got a giant one here in the grass. This one's Godzilla. and parked like I said this is private property guys and we have your permission to be out here to do this removal Hey, by the way, guys, we're using the FX Panther with PCP air rifle. Uh, this has been a great choice I've been using the last couple days. And I'll be honest with you guys, it is making light work of this right here. And we're getting a lot of stuff done, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and try to collect some of these guys. I'll be honest with you guys, this is a dream job for me. This roadside parking lot, it's been abandoned for quite some time. And for me to be able to do the removal, um, we were supposed to be setting traps out here, and we still will, but as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and clear as many of them as we can with the air rifle, and then we'll try to find out where they're, they're you know, hanging out at, and we'll be able to set traps then. All right, we All good size mature iguanas. What's that? We do have one more big one somewhere here. See, this area is where we're gonna have to put some of the traps. A lot of you guys were asking, like, you know, how do you get the contracts and stuff? Well, honestly, guys, it's a lot of just networking, a lot of being out making those connections talking to the right people and then of course uh you know securing the deal closing the deal on you know the procedure the operation and of course uh you know all the financial stuff okay so all that will be redone the iguanas have actually potentially undermined this area as well digging holes underneath and around um, you know can cause like weak spots soft spots and you can see right there we got just two massive ones well one massive one and one one that might be his mate but that one in the back is is surely early five six foot each one of these little areas with grass you can see it's sunken in quite a bit you know, iguanas can be eating it they could be nesting in it um, we know during the egg season that we've seen it before that they can destroy parking lots especially right down over there See all that debris? People don't think it, but iguanas, they can go underneath this asphalt and it can be a perfect incubator for them. 
right ahead we have two more iguanas guys two more one right there and another one in the grass so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can take them out Now, with the iguana, you can't just go for a headshot. It has to be a brain shot. If not, he'll be able to fight it. If not go down right away. One of the reasons why they're so hard. So like I said, brain shot right there. Two brain shots, two euthanized invasive iguanas. We do got one right here. Just wanna make sure we're taking nice, safe shots. We're gonna see how many we can put in the bag. That's it. One and done. Hey, shout out to the guys at FX. I mean, the guns, the rifles that we're using makes our jobs way easy. Way easy. Look at that. That is a perfectly placed shot. He's out. Just one and done. We're in the little blue machine today. We don't got the truck. So we're just gonna have to put these guys right here. This, this is a per bounty job as well. Oh my gosh. All right, this guy's maybe one more. He can still bite right here too. We need to angle ourselves correctly. Route. All right, guys, we got two more iguanas that just came. I don't know where they're coming from. There's got to be holes, but check this out. Got one hanging out right there. A little right there. That's a beast. Oh my gosh. That one's got to be like 14, 15 pounds. You can just tell by the way it walks. This is where we're at right now, guys. We got to try to take these two ones out. Take him out. 
we'll see what we can do. See what we can do. We saw one right to him. I think we got a good hit. Now I'm telling you guys, this, this FX Panthera is making my job a lot easier. Look at this. Look at that dog. Oh shoot. What he got hit with. We're gonna go ahead and grab him and follow up with him one more time. It's a big lizard. As you guys can see, just the enormity of this iguana. This thing is massive. This is, I, I'm guessing this is the biggest one of the day. He's gotta be pushing, I don't know, nine, 10 pounds. They look much bigger when they're flared out. And they do that because right now they're trying to attract those females. So bright orange, the big dewlap, the spikes, the arch. Uh, he's got all the swag down pack. Go ahead, try to get lucky. But today, I think we got lucky. I'll show you guys some of the repairs and damages. Some could be potholes and stuff, but you know, if you guys see me go on digging tunnels underneath this, I mean, there's gonna be some soft spots, you know? Another one right here. They just keep coming back guys so we're gonna have to go ahead and see if we can get ready for another round there's a lot of just as we left more of them came back so let's get ready Yep, even some of the, the females look like they're turning turning orange as well. Man, obviously we've got a lot of work to do here. So truck is getting maintained right now. Uh, after we done do our little roundup here, we're gonna go ahead and set these traps. And then next time we come back, which would be tomorrow, we'll have some more in the traps, but then also more might be out for us to, you know, take out with the air rifle. size right there good great size all right. I probably should have took out all these traps before I uh, started doing the removal but I didn't want to scare any of the iguanas because once I came in here and I seen them all I was like man um, if I come out like you know like the owners told me that they're very skittish out here so said these fx guns they do not play guys look at that we got us another one you see this one's a female two tails mating season has definitely begun right now and the females do have eggs in them that are developed because i cleaned a couple the other day
still trying to whip it off. One that was green, still is. You can see he's definitely turning that orange color. It's insane. So it is that time, guys. It is the end of the video, unfortunately. We didn't do too bad for our short visit. Uh, there is some, There are some more. Stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and count them out. Um, we do got to set these traps. Like I said, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to spook them. You can see the, the hull right there. Is, I mean, that's quite an impressive haul. Most of those are one-hit kills with the exception of maybe one or two of them. I just needed a little bit of extra love. There goes one more for you. Check that out right there, guys. Just a whole pile of iguanas. Recovered here at this roadside parking lot. That's getting redone. Uh, this would be a great time to thank the sponsor of the video, FX Air Guns. Uh, we're using the FX Panthera. See that right there. It's a PCP air rifle, 22 caliber. Um, it's very efficient. That's all I can say. Very efficient. If we were using anything else, I'm pretty sure this job would have took a lot longer or a lot more would have gotten away. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got 14 of them, all mature. Um, I'd say about half of them are definitely big males, the other half are mature females. So not bad for the first visit. Just as mentioned guys, we're doing the bounty out here. So that actually worked out pretty good for the company. And um, yeah, can't wait to come back out here. Uh, right now I do got these traps that need to be set. We've got a total of six traps. All right guys, so another beauty of this too is, though these are invasive species, none of this protein will be going to waste. This is all fresh iguana meat. And if you guys heard, it's true. Iguanas are actually really good table fare. All depends on how you cook them, but there are a ton of recipes. And if you have the expertise and the experience, I mean, shoot. There are fantastic meals that can be created with freshly harvested iguana meat. Got to think about it real quick, guys. These are natural animals. They're non-GMO. They are grass-fed. They're eating plants, vegetables, everything that's in this uh, South Florida ecosystem. The problem is, guys, is they are competing with the native species for territory and food. So that is a big issue. Um, and since they do multiply a lot, in the females, they can have 40 to 60 eggs on average in the egg laying season. So it's a big deal that we're getting rid of these guys because we are preventing a lot more competition for the native species. But speaking of the native species, we are native species, us Floridians, and these are invasive species. So it is native species against invasive species. However, the native species animals here, they don't really don't have the strength or the fortitude to go up against one of these giant terrestrial lizards right here. I mean big iguana like this you're a bird you're a turtle you're a native mammal you're gonna have a hard time trying to fight a scaly spiky clawy rough rugged iguana you're just gonna have quite the battle so us native floridians were able to come out here take these invasive iguanas out put them in the bag so i really hope you enjoyed the content hope you learned something let me know your favorite part in the comments down below is your friend the iguana man and we're gonna keep showing you guys how to keep catching iguanas